Say hello. Hello, here's, hello. Here's a cool lie. Hey, everybody. Hello. Okay. Looks to me. Hello. Like, like hello. Struggle tonight. Hello. You know what? It's okay. Welcome. Mr. Doomsday is already predicting internet issues, so we apologize in advance. It looks, I don't know. Anyway, it's because it's too cold outside. We got up to 30 today. So, anyway, who knows? Okay, so you got an action needed. Too low FPS. That's what I'm oh, talking about. That's what, that's what Patty says. She keeps getting that notice. Yeah. Anyway. It's, it's got to be Facebook. Some anyway, you got to give me some comments. Hello. Well, there you are, Patty. We just got that notice that our frame rate is too low also. So it's not just you because... Mr. Computer is getting the same thing. It's not so. the computer. Well, no, I said Mr. Computer, I you, it's not... not our, it's not our system here. Okay, so. anyway. Welcome, everybody. I'm Robin. Mr. Computer is really Bill. Okay, and I I had enough <laughs> we, we are Raincross Farms Makery. We are located just outside of... Where are we? <laughs> Lewis and Idaho. Are you that tired tonight? <laughs> what is your problem? <laughs> well, I was going to say, I was going to say Julietta, but nobody knows where Julietta is. So oh, Julie, maybe hey, somebody hey. might know where Lewiston is. Anyway, welcome, welcome, welcome. Hey, Patty. Hey, Linda. Low FPS. I guess frames per second. Something. That's what it means. So I don't know. I don't know. It's not my job. I craft. He frames. What? And all of that good stuff. Hey, Ken, welcome. Oh, you got cold and wind and rain in Riverside. Snow to 2,000 feet. Wow. Okay. Wow. After, oh, Con after last week's heat? <laughs> yeah, that's it's just making up for it. And Connie's said that that's a heat wave to her. She got up to 10 today. So anyway, yeah. we stayed inside and we had... Well, we you had, stayed, inside. I stayed inside. I stayed inside and he had a fire going and... We had a chicken who was very, very cold today, and I think we, she finally warmed herself up. Anyway, so awesome, awesome. So, Connie, where are you from that you got up to 10 today? Are you back east? Let us know. So if you're watching live, it will say live up here. And please hop on, say hello. Let us know where you're from if you're new. Let us know where you're from, even if you're not new. Okay, she's... Pamela is in Maine. Oh, thank you for... Thank you for sprinkle. Are you saying you sprinkled our video, or is it sprinkling in Maine? Connie's in Nebraska. Awesome. Sprinkled and raining in Maine. So maybe... <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. Anyway, speaking of sprinkling... If you're watching our live, we would love it if you would love our page or like it if you're not ready to commit. I um, follow I my potatoes out yet. Follow our page. This stop is stop interrupting me. This is important. <laughs> Can't put my potatoes out yet. They'll freeze. Are you done? No. Okay, now I am. Okay. We would love it if you would love our page or like our page. Give us one of those little emojis, but not the mad face. Don't give us the mad face. Follow our page. Um, that way you can get some notifications of when we go live and we we have a t we'll have a tendency to show up in your feed more often. And if you are willing, I'm going to say the word one time because I'm told it's okay to say it as long as you don't overuse it. So we would love it if you would share our video out to uh, craft groups that you're a part of or your your page or even just a friend that you think might enjoy our crafting. Goodness, Pam, you gave a few hearts there. Wow. <laughs> well, thank you. <laughs> thank you so much. Okay, where's okay. Pam from? Did I miss that already? Uh, oh, she's Maine. from That's Maine. Right. She's, from, she's Maine. from Maine. What what part of Maine are you from? I had a... The Maine part. Uh, okay, Linda funny... says we have clouds moving in for rain after 2 a.m. I made... I had a friend. He was actually a serv he was serviceman for my classroom. Worked on the printers there. And he retired and moved to Maine. And I've always wanted oh. to go find him. So. Mark? Mark? Was his name no. Mark? No, Cliff. Oh. Who did we, oh no, I'm thinking Vermont. 
Oh, that, that was, was Mark. Yeah, that, that was, was Vermont. Mark. Mark. Okay. Okay. So I've got I got the live up here. Anyway, tonight's project we are going to do. You either love them or hate them. Not too much in between. Oh, well, that's not true. I'm kind of in between. I don't hate them. I don't know that I love them, but people are going gaga over gnomes. So hopefully you like gnomes. If not, watch the technique and you can use something you do really, really love and you can do it on the same type of surface. So West Newfield, Maine. Are you any more, are you any more knowledgeable now? <laughs> So we are going to do this little pair of gnomes because it is Tuesday. You've all heard that now, right? 2, 22, 22. So we're going to do two gnomes tonight. Get it? Okay, it's a theme. Anyway, that's what we're going to do. They are cute. We had, and they're just about ready to go retired. We have some Christmas, um, Christmassy gnomes. But these are the spring gnomes, so they're they are they are darling. They're kind of growing on me. Everyone but, said the magic word. Oh, awesome! That <laughs> while while we're here, if you're interested in the transfers or any of the supplies that I used, you can comment gnomes, and my bot will send you a. <laughs> my bot will send you a link to a uh, a cart link for all the supplies. You can take a look and see if there's anything you're interested in. Now disclaimer we're going to do it on we're going to chalk this on this canvas banner we sell a really nice canvas banner in our online shop however i don't have one so i am faking it i got some canvas and actually i didn't go buy canvas i bought a canvas painting drop cloth so i have yards and yards and yards and yards of canvas so what I did is I cut that apart into the shape of our uh, shape of the canvas banner that we sell in our shop. It's the main part of it is will fit an 18 by a 12 by 18 transfer. This is a 12 by 18 transfer. So that will fit on there. You can also just do one or the other, but we're going to actually do both. But so I'm going to kind of fake this. But you can buy one that's already put together. And this one, I haven't hemmed the edges. And I thought, should I get out my sewing machine? Ooh, nah, don't want to get out my sewing machine. So what I'm going to do is I am going to use Surebonder fabric sticks. These are, it's a glue stick, but it's meant for fabric. It, it um, when it sets up, when it dries, it's a little more flexible. And it works really good with fabric, so it will work really good with this. So we're just going to, I am going to just turn this up a bit. And kind of crease it. Actually, you know what I'm going to do? I have my iron, my little iron. I'm just going to, I'm going to crease that over because I want it to look nice. nose out and bronze. Lana said hi to Cheryl also. Oh, hello, Lana. Hello, Cheryl. Welcome. Didn't see you sneak in there. Okay, and for some reason that turned off, so we'll turn that back up. Okay, so Surebonder fabric glue. It's white. It's not clear. And I'm going to put it on the edge so I can kind of catch those... Uh, frayed edges. Now you wouldn't want to use this to like stitch together a garment, but if you are, and it's a little toasty, so I'm going to get out, I'm going to get out my little, from the Dollar Tree, it's a, a little makeup spatula thing, but it's made out of silicone. So the glue won't stick to it. That way I won't burn my fingers. <laughs> Cheryl, doing? we're sorry. You're not, sorry you're not feeling oh, well, Cheryl. Sorry. Uh, Under the weather? Alana says we're very sneaky. Sneaky, sneaky. I don't know how she's sneaky, but there you go. Because I said you snuck in here. I thought Connie's little uh, dad joke was pretty good. 
Right, did I miss a dad goop? Oh, first, the pal in pal. drone? Yes. Yeah. First, I am a dad joke. Oh, don't get him started, get me please. Started. Get me started. Don't get him started on dad jokes. Dollar Tree does it for you, Patty. My poor students, when they were, my my jokes just uh, probably made them want to leave. They but wanted they couldn't. to get suspended so they wouldn't have to listen to mine. It's flipping snowing here, and it makes me hurt. <laughs> oh, snowing in Redding. <laughs> in Redding, California, it's not. They apparently it's got snow. It's the down. end of the world. Okay, I'm going to just tack that little corner down. So I'm, I, I'm, you know, it might be might be true that they made them crazy when they're in school, but they miss it. My students miss my stupid jokes. Okay. They are stupid jokes. Okay, so I what I what I'm doing is I am putting the glue right on that very edge. So I'm trying to catch some of the loose ends, frayed ends, because I'm not turning it over twice like. You probably would if you sewed it. So I'm just letting that glue. It's not going to get a lot of wear and tear. So I don't feel the need to tuck under that edge. You know, maybe they're not stupid jokes as much as they're bad jokes, which Good. makes them bad jokes. You guys digging Robin's uh, buffalo plaid shirt? Get it? It's a buffalo wearing buffalo plaid. If she's wearing a dad joke. I mean, come on. <laughs> my my honey bought me this in Las Vegas. I bought you two of them. Mm -hmm. Okay. I probably should have had this done ahead of time, but... You need to see this, right? When you don't have it just the way you want it and you kind of have to improvise, that's what I'm doing. And I don't know, I don't think that will kind of press that edge. Didn't know if I should press it first or press it after. So we are going to, we're just going to use paste on canvas because I'm not going to, this isn't something I'm going to stick in the washing machine. It doesn't need to be permanent. The paste will adhere to it. It wouldn't hold up in the, in the washing machine, but this isn't something that I'm going to be washing. It's probably just going to hang on a wall as a decoration. So paste will be just fine. Okay. So how is everybody? Did you have a good day? I had a great Tuesday. Tuesday. Like I said, we had a good day. We kind of had a quiet day. Bill went out and... Excuse me. Got a few I don't know what you did. Probably chopping wood and gathering eggs and... Pulling two trees out. You pull trees out? Those dead spots in our broadcast. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, hot, hot, hot. Hopefully that didn't air. Hot glue is hot. Where's Kay reminding me that hot glue is hot? Don't touch it. Okay, this works pretty good. It allows me to press it down and not burn my little fingers. That looks like it's coming up. Okay, so as this dries, it's kind of very flexible. 
maybe regular hot glue wouldn't be so flexible on fabric. Not that it needs to be flexible. In fact, it probably should stay kind of firm. Okay, now I need this to be deep enough to go around that. Okay. Come on. Let's put that down just like ouch, like that. I make it not so bright right over there. Okay, so we have got that put together. Fancy smancy. Okay, so let's get to let's get to our gnomes. Now because this is fabric, I I'm not I'm not gonna wax this, I'm not gonna do anything to prep that. Um if it was a painter's canvas, like a, a painting, like you do oil paints, I might um sand it but I'm not going to because it's fabric I'm not going to fuzz this because this is already fuzzy and I am going to cut these apart even though I'm going to put them side by side I'm just going to do them one at a time and let me show you the colors okay now you could also, you could also just do an individual. We actually have some frames that are six by 18. So this is a six by 18. So you could just do a, a tall skinny one. You could leave off the flowers and just have the gnomes, but we're going to do them both. We're gonna do them side by side. It's going to look adorable, right? So again, I'm not going to, I'm not gonna fuzz. Our transfers are self-adhesive, reusable, silk screen transfers. I did want to kind of pull them a little bit closer together. Okay, so let's start with our girl. I'm going to push this down really tight because I want that glue on me. I want that sticky part to adhere really tightly to the fabric so my paste doesn't have any place to squish out and bleed. Now I'm actually, there's flowers up here. I'm not going, I'm not going to paste the bigger flowers because we're going to actually put some not real flowers, but some silk flowers on there to give it a little bit of dimension. Okay, so I'm pushing that down. Now the colors we're going to use, I put in a set of paste packets. A paste packet looks like this. It's um, uh, enough for a couple of projects. Maybe something like this you might get one or two out of. But I put in a set of six different colors of paste packets. If if you go on and you're not interested in those, just take them out, pick your own. Um, we do have a lot of the paste packets back in stock. If you if you want to just try out a couple of colors. I just got a question for you. I got okay, on hold on. I have I have glue all you over my. Your... No, it's yeah. glue glue Glues. strands. Okay, <laughs> how hot does your mini heat implement get? I don't know. I'd have to look. It gets up to three lines. I'd have to, I'd have to look. I'll have to pull out the paperwork. Or, sorry, I have glue strands all over me. I'll have I'll have to look it up. I don't know for sure. I could probably Google Cricut Mini Press and see how high it gets. Mini heat implement. Yes, it's the, that is the Cricut Mini Press. Are you choking? Do I need to come over no. and do CPR? No, I don't need CPR. <laughs> Heimlich? Mm -hmm. Okay, maybe so. Some, maybe some mouth to mouth. Ah. Honey. 
goodness gracious. Okay, meetings with directors and pastors making, oh, okay. So it was a good day. It was a good meeting. Awesome. You need to let us know if you heard anything about U of I. Okay, so the colors that come in the paste packet, it's called the Lux, Lux, L-U-X-E, paste. It comes with papaya, kind of an orangey, orangey, peachy color. It comes with peachy keen, so a light and dark peach. It comes with colonial blue and ocean mist, so a light and a dark blue. And it comes with Shimmer Frost, which is our white frost with shimmer, and Shimmer Gold. So those are some pretty cool colors that come in that kit. However, however, I'm looking at this, and that looks pretty light, and that looks pretty light. And I got my, I got my package today from my order from launch day, and I got some of the new colors, and I, I think they're going to be perfect. This is our brand new color. This is called Sunset Drive. So it is, it's like right in between these two colors. So it's, it's a little darker than the Peachy Keen and it's a little lighter than the Papaya. So I'm gonna swap out the Peachy Keen for Sunset Drive and use those two colors on the girl. And then this is Dusky D-U-S-K-Y, dusky blue. And it is kind of right in between I'm gonna put them these the two colors. Because I think it gives better color representation. Okay. So it, um, it's, it's a little bit darker than the ocean mist. So I think we're going to swap out the ocean mist for the dusky blue. And then we are also going to add in some eucalyptus, and I think I put a eucalyptus paste packet in there too. And just so if you're interested, this is our brand new color. This is shimmer eucalyptus. So it's basically that same color. Looks maybe a little more blue, but that could just be the, the shimmers kind of reflecting the light. So shimmer eucalyptus, but we're just gonna use the plain eucalyptus. So new colors, exciting. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to start, I'm going to start with the leaves. And like I said, I'm not going to do these big flowers because I'm going to, I'm going to actually glue on some silk flowers. So I'm taking our chalk paste. This is chalk paste, chalk in paste form. And I just dripped some. Well, I'm going to have to cover that up with, with the guy. Okay, so I just, I'm going to take this and put it on a squeegee, and I'm just going to very gently drag that over the screen, the parts that I want to be eucalyptus, which is mainly the stems. And I'm going to try to avoid her hat and just get the stems. Okay. So this is very simple. If you can butter bread, you can do this. And even if you can't butter bread, I bet you could do this. Okay. So take your time and lay down that paste. And I'm going to get these two little leaves up here. Okay. So I think I have all of my greenery. Oh, no, I don't. What that? Did you miss something? I did. Get in there and get that. Get in there and get to getting. Okay. Okay, now, because this is
working on it. I'll just yell really loud. Um. <laughs> Audio input capture. Okay, I'm pushing this down. Now it came back. Did we get it? Can you hear me now? Can you hear me now? Okay, so what I'm doing, what I'm doing is I'm pushing down, not where I've already chalked, but where I still need to. And again, I'm not going to do those big flowers. So let's do, let's do her hat. Should we do her hat in the lighter? Let's do her hat in Sunset Drive. Oh, this is brand new. Just opening it. Ooh, pretty pretty. I like it. Throw that away. And I'm going to get some of this, and I'm going to chalk her hat. Be careful where I go with this. Now it's so quiet. This I'm not saying what color did I just use? This this is brand new. This is Sunset Drive. It's it's a, a, a peachy, a medium peach. So brand new, brand new color. Over that, and I think I'm going to do going to do this little guy in Sunset Drive and this little guy in Sunset Drive. And I'm going to scrape off my excess and I'm going to peel. That's pretty. Now I've got some spots on her hat that I'm going to go back over. What was the first color you used? My first color was eucalyptus. The green is eucalyptus. Let me go back over the top now that I can actually control stuff. I still lost the mouse. I still don't know what happened to it, but it's like everything went on us. Okay. So there I've got her hat and Sunset Drive. And I'm going to give it just a little, little bit of drying time. And then I'm going to lay this back down. And again, I'm not going to push down where I have already chopped. There, there, there. And I'm going to finish this up with papaya, which is a darker purple, darker purple, darker orangish. And this needs a quick little okay, I'm stir. Go the front here. My goodness, I'm going crazy here. Can't get it all done. Well, we wanted comments. We got a lot of comments on that. Good, we there we go. Yeah. Hobby Lobby have the chalk paste. Um, Hobby Lobby probably has some form of chalk paste. This I sell in my shop. I'm an independent designer for Chalk Couture, so I sell this. Um, there are other, other chalk pastes on the market. Um, I haven't heard great things about them. Um, they... These are all natural, uh, non-toxic, smudge and budge proof, semi-permanent. Um, the ones that are in the craft stores um, have, tend to have more chemicals. I've heard they have a very chemical-y smell. 
Um, again, I, I can't speak firsthand to that, but yes, there are, they do sell chalk pastes in craft stores, but I, I can pretty much guarantee you're not going to get as good a quality as the chalk couture brand, the, the chalkology paste. And again, I sell that in my shop. So if you're interested in looking, you can type shop or catalog and my bot will take you my bot will well, take you like to, a fine the, gnome. to the link and you can take a look around okay so i'm going to i'm going to get up off of this chair get up okay. i'm kind of making a mess here i'm going to lay this down on a dish drying mat i got from the dollar store it's, it just kind of absorbs the water and I'm not going to clean it yet. So I'm just going to spray it with water so that paste doesn't dry. Not that that would hurt it, but it makes it a lot easier to clean up if, if it's, if it's still damp. So I'm done with that. I may still use those colors, so I'm going to leave those out. So here is our little girl gnome. Little girl gnome. Little girl gnome. Now one thing, the, the canvas sucks in a lot of the paste. So it, it might take a little bit longer to dry it. But I want to make sure I get it dry to the touch before I put down the little boy. It looks so pretty. <laughs> pretty cute. I'm gonna springy colors. Okay, so I think that's dry enough. Now I'm gonna take our little boy gnome and same thing i'm not going to fuzz this I'll go back home to, to try to line him up straight over just a tad So I might have missed it earlier because I've been doing other things, but um, your reason you didn't chop the flowers on the other one? Because I am going to put actual silk flowers oh, okay. on it. Am I getting ahead of you again? No, I said it. You, okay, just, you just were busy. It. You were busy. Yeah, I purposely, in case, in case you missed it, maybe you came on late. I purposely did not do these flowers here because I'm going to actually use silk flowers to kind of give it a little bit of dimension so again i'm pushing this down and i'm going to start with our eucalyptus again and i'm going to actually i'm going to use my uh, multi-tool this is this side here this little hooked side is meant to help you stir up the paste because that little hook gets right inside that edge of the jar but this is like a little mini squeegee and when i have to get into little tight spaces this is helpful Ding -ding. it's going over that screen now these screens, I also sell these designs, these silk screens in my shop, and they are reusable. So you can reuse them. The company guarantees that you can reuse them 10 to 12 times if you take care of them and wash them up, which I will show you how to do that. But you can actually get more than, more than, more than a dozen uses out of them. So you can kind of defray the cost of them, especially if you use them for, uh, if you do crafting for 
craft shows to sell them or to, to give gifts. You can make multiple of them. Down that stem. I had a question I was going to ask everybody. Now I can't remember what it was. I don't know either. Okay. Well, I hope you are all following our page. So let me pull this up. Paste and peel. Listen, listen, we needed some, uh, I made a little boo-boo, but that's okay. So I'm going to lay that back down. And I'm going to peel it from this edge. So that has released the paste from the screen so that I can peel it up and it's not going to, it's not going to peel the paste up with it. So I'm laying this back down because I'm still going to go through and I'm not going to do the big flowers again, but I'm going to do these smaller ones. Okay, so I'm done with this. So I'm going to clean this off. Okay, uh, let's see. It looks like Tina commented shop and it didn't send you the... Yes, it did. Did it? No, yep, it's there. Oh, okay. Is it, it's just down. Okay, it skipped a line. Never mind. Never, Never mind. mind. <laughs> okay, and I'm going to use some of this. Were you going to ask him how to send flowers across states? Is that the question? Uh, well, no, I that did ask. Crazy. I did ask that on um, on our on our page. That wasn't the question I was going to ask, but I did ask that question because it came up. Uh, we have um, we had a niece, great great niece, second niece. I don't know. I don't know what her true title of relationship is. She's a cousin's daughter. Anyway, she passed away, and we were looking to send flowers to two different states. And so I, I had just asked, what are your tips? What are your tips and tricks on sending flowers to another state? So I got a couple of responses. It seemed a little more convoluted than it should have been, mm -hmm. or you would think. And let's see. I'm going to, I'm going to do those. Okay, so I think that's it for guava. Yeah, no, papaya. I get my fruits mixed up. Okay, now I'm going to, I'm going to do these in light blue. Again, this is dusky blue. It's brand new, a brand new color. It's a medium Really pretty medium blue, a little gray to it, maybe. I am making a big old mess tonight. Getting my paste everywhere. So let's see, I'm going to do this guy in blue. I'm going to talk to this one in blue. It's a little too gravy, cornflower blue. Perhaps. And then I think... Actually, what I'm seeing on my screen and what I see in front of me, the colors are pretty close to... Um, 
to true. What, yeah, they're pretty close to true. At least what's on your what's on, laptop. What's on your screen. I'm okay. also looking at what's on my on my iPhone in front of me, and it looks pretty close too. And this is colonial blue, so it's a deeper. Still a, it's not a dark blue. And I'm gonna do. Let's, see, let's do that. Let's do that one. Just kind of mixing up the colors here. And let's do, let's go back to Sunset Drive. Do those, and then I'm going to need to peel this up so it doesn't dry. Okay, so I'm going to leave those big flowers open. And I'm going to peel this up. Pretty, pretty. Okay. And I'm going to give it just a little bit of a dry. Keep grabbing the wrong thing. Mouse isn't working, so I keep grabbing. I keep doing the. Uh, I just replaced the batteries, so that. No, 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 it's, no. It's oh. it's when the whole thing got disconnected. Okay. We'll come back. So next, I'm going to do him in two shades of blue. So I think I'm going to do. There's some little flowers here, so I think I'm going to do. How about, how about these little dots? In what, what color is that? This is Sunset Drive. So that's Sunset Drive. I'm going to do this one in the papaya. You're just getting crazy. I'm just getting colorful. What do you want to? Don't you look at me. Okay. And then I'm going to do this lighter blue. Again, what what did I call this? Dusky blue. I'm going to do dusky blue on his hat. I could probably tape that off with some placement tape. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Dogs are alerting to something, which means they want to go out and run. So if you are, to give me a, give me some hearts if you are a member of the VIP group. Throw up some hearts. Yes, it is a very pretty blue. So throw up some hearts if you're a member of the VIP group. Okay. That aside, and I'm going to peel it up. Pretty, pretty. And I'm going to lay it back down. And you know what? I think I'm going to finish his nose up now. I'll do his nose in the darker blue. Again, I'm pushing this back down. And now I'm going to use the colonial blue. Well, Cheryl gave a big old heart. She is a member of the VIP group. If you're not a member of the VIP group, you need to be. VIP group is, it's absolutely free. It doesn't cost anything. It's no obligation. It's a place where it's a private group. So that means I I have to allow you to come in. This page is a public group. Anybody passing by on Facebook can pop in, but our VIP group is a private group. So I have to, I have to let you in. And that is where I'm allowed to offer 
sales and deals and discounts and giveaways. So if you're not a member, it's like I said, it's absolutely free, no obligation. It's where we can post our projects. We can, so you can show everybody what you're doing, not just chalk projects, but any kind of craft projects. But anyway, I posted in there, we've got quite a few transfers, quite a few designs that are on the low quantity list. Okay, so I'm gonna peel this off. He's so cute. He's cute, even though I'm not huge on gnomes. He is cute. What do you think? Okay, let me get some of this cleaned up. I'm going to let that dry. So I'm just putting my squeegees in water, closing these up. Did you see anything out there? Animals. Animals. They saw animals. Sorry about that, folks. Okay, so I'm gonna let I'm gonna set this just off to the side right here because I'm gonna clean my transfer so you can see me do that. In fact, I'll just clean one of them. Okay. So I'm gonna clean this one, and actually, I forgot to do this one flower, and I wanted to do that in blue. So I'm I'm gonna clean it and lay that one back down. I'm not going to clean this one yet, but I'm going to spray it so it doesn't dry. That'll make my job of cleaning easier. So I've got that wet. I am going to take either, either a paper towel. This is how I like to do it. Chop, Chop Couture won't tell you to do this, but I like to take either a paper towel, or these are called Swedish dish towels. They're like reusable paper towels. So I like to use this to get that first layer of paste off of my screen. If I use a dip, if I use a paper towel, then I just I just end up tossing it in the trash. But it gets it gets that big chunk of paste off of there because I I need to get all that paste out of the screens. So you can see it didn't completely clean it up. That's okay. That's when I pull out my board eraser, which is the same type of material, I believe, as a magic eraser, but there's no chemicals in it because we don't want to use chemicals on these. That will break down the stickiness. So I'm going to take this and this will get, this will pull the rest of that paste from out of the screen and off the top. But using the paper towel or using the Swedish dishcloth saves some wear and tear on this. This will clean it, but it kind of eases the burden, so to speak, on my board eraser. And again, I sell my board erasers in my shop. You don't have to have one, but they work wonders. So I'm turning it over oh, where all that dog hair came from. So I'm turning it over, getting more of that paste out of that screen, and I'm actually, I'm seeing a lot of fuzz because I put this down, the sticky side, I put this down on canvas, so it picked up a lot of fuzz. So I want to get most of that off so it won't... Uh, it won't affect the stickiness of it when it dries. Okay. And if you have a lot of fuzz on it and it's just not coming off, you take it to the sink, run it under some cool water, and that'll get it off. This is probably not the best way to clean them, but it works for my life because I don't have to leave you. So like I said, I'm going to lay this back down and do that one that one flower. So ordinarily, I tell you to just let this air dry, but I want to use it right away. So I'm taking a paper towel only to a wet transfer. If I did this to a dry transfer, I would have I would have bits of towel stuck to the stuck to the adhesive.
So dry it up. When it is completely dry, I would put it back on my backer sheet, the shiny side to the sticky side. But I, like I said, I'm going to use this again. I'm going to lay this down one more time right on that with that one flower. Lay this back down. Joanne says, I'm here. Rain, rain, go away. Is it raining where you are, Chip? Yeah. It's it's all of Southern California. Okay. All of California. So this is the only little part I'm going to do is this little flower right there. So, and I'm going to use my dusky blue, no, colonial blue, and just do that flower. Super simple, because I forgot to do it earlier. Peel that up. There's my blue flower. It's such a cute little flower. Put this back down. It's such a cute little flower. I'll need to clean that one spot again. Quick spray. Okay, so far, what do you think? Looking good, looking good. So let me dry that spot. And I've got some flowers that I'm going to use. And I think I'm actually going to put some little bows in her in her braids. So I'm just gonna I'm not gonna do the greenery, I'm just gonna pop those off. And those are going to go what there. Where is that big one? There. And then let's see. I have, I have some purpley flowers. And I think I will do there and there. to the right. Yeah. There. I'm gonna I'm gonna trim it. Or do I want yellow? I think you need two yellows up top there. Two yellows? Yeah. It's like a little larger like that. Or do I want that guy up there? I'll put the two yellows low and the, the pop the top. Okay. You know what? Do I want the blue on him? I like it. Do you like the blue on him? Rather blue flower. Okay. Okay, so let me Okay. So these have this little plasticky thing. So I'm going to clip that off just as tight as I can so I can lay that down. This one there. What do you think? Does that look cute? It's up higher, I think. Goes up higher? Just just up higher. Okay, so let me put some okay, glue now on. You're using the fabric glue I'm just on using now? the fabric glue. Like yeah. Okay. So I'm just using the fabric glue because it's going on fabric, and that's the glue gun that I have hot right now. There you go. I'm holding that in place till it sets. Do you find that fabric glue uh, takes longer to set? Um, maybe a little bit. In here. Linda said, wow, the flowers really make it look awesome. I think so, too. I, I mean, I've been experimenting with three-dimensional. So instead of everything being flat, let's give it a little bit of dimension. Not dementia. Okay, I don't want to cut this too tight because I think... I'm sure I've already got plenty of that anyway. Yeah, I don't know how I'll know. I won't know when he has Alzheimer's because he's already forgetful and and I where's, won't know either. Where are my where's my phone? Do you know where my phone is? I can't find my phone. Wait a minute, wait a minute. <laughs> if you're gonna go down that road, I'm gonna bring up your stories too. No, that's fine. It's just that it was in his front pocket. <laughs> well, I never put it. He here. never puts it there, but Okay, I just that came out, so I'm trying to put it back in there. A little plasticky doohickey. You know what? 
skip it, get another one. So sometimes if you take the little plastic thing off too tight, too close, the flower comes apart. We don't want that. Okay, so we wanted two of these up here. I think so. I like okay. it. Well, if you like it, then that's what we'll do. I like it. That one there. Hold it in place. That one there. Get in place. See? Joanne said she loses hers too. Of course, we are related, so that might be the issue. <laughs> uh, and then I'm going to take these little things off the blue ones. These want to stand out a whole lot more. They stand up a whole lot more. Eating pizza and watching us. That's what she's doing. I'm assuming it's homemade pizza. Well, that's a little off center, but that's where the glue went, so that's where it's going. <laughs> so these are just Dollar Tree flowers. <laughs> Cheryl, that's pretty smart, actually. She says, has a friend that messages her on Facebook. It says, call my phone so I can find it. <laughs> Except... Bill's goes to his hearing aids, so it rings, it in, my rings ears. in his ears. <laughs> that doesn't help him locate. That doesn't help him locate his phone because they ring. They ring straight to his ears. Okay. Well, there we go. Off. By the what way, I think? highly suggest getting hearing aids if you need them. What they do with them now is absolutely incredible. Okay. So, what do you think? What do you think? Okay, let, let's pull it up. Hopefully it's, hopefully it's dried. How does that look? Too cute? Too, Too cute. Too cute, baby. Okay, so let's finish this up so I have my dowel rod. <laughs> What's it? It's on the floor in the refrigerator since he's rolling up for Okay. So this is kind of like long that. because, I again, it was impromptu. I stole it from another craft. But if you buy the if you buy the canvas banner from my shop, it comes with the perfect length little dowel rod. It comes with its own little jute to tie. And I'm going to use I'm just going to use some ribbon. Oh, I was going to do uh, I was going to do some little bows for her. Joanne said, "Super cute." Super Carol cute. says, way too cute. And Linda says, wow. Okay, so let me tie that. And then I'm going to just do a little shoelace bow. Not that one. I'm going to do it this direction. Well, that doesn't come out right. Yeah, I'll tie that later. I'll tie it later. later. I'll tie it later. That's the shirts. Hi, Daisy. Daisy came back to say hello. Hi, beautiful. Look at your big brown eyes. Such a pretty Okay, I will fix those ends later, and let me give her, you know what, I'm going to give her, I have some of this blue ribbon that will kind of make it look like she belongs to him, so I'm going to put, I'm going to make just a couple little bows for her braids. Tight. 
do you think? Will that be cute? Is that too big? We gotta get it where we can see it. Down too low. Just that. As long as the tails aren't too long. I can trim the tails. What do you yeah. think? Does it will that look cute? I think so. Well, let me make another one. Okay, the moochers are back. Hopefully they'll okay. stay away from that Do line this one. time. A couple of mooching dogs. There you go, Daisy. Hold on, B. Switch that down tight. I never had daughters, so my only experience with bows was being on the band bus for football games, and the cheerleaders would be there, and they would need their bows tied. So that's how I learned to tie any bows, was cheerleaders. Let me... Twist this. Okay. Yay or nay? Well, um, Susan says that's a really cute idea. Okay. And of like course, it? Cheryl's telling me that Xena is a huge moosh. Okay, so we'll keep the bows. Let me. And Linda says, can't believe you found flowers that match so well. Did you match the flowers to it, or did you find the ink that matched the flowers? A um, little bit of both. I had, I was wanting, it all stemmed from wanting to put together a cart link that had some paste in it. And so I picked the paste uh, set that had these colors. And then I, then I remembered that I had these flowers, so... It just kind of all came together. So here we go. Um, I'm is, getting there. I'm getting there. Here are our little spring gnomes. What do you think? Do we like do we like gnomes? Works for cute, me. Cute, cute, cute. Okay. It's too so, that's so cute. They're, start, that, yeah, they're okay? starting to grow on me. So I'm not sure what I'll do with these guys, but so here is our, try to hold this up so it doesn't uh, have these things flopping around. They're going to flop, aren't they? Mm -hmm. Just trying to hold it up without having these things flopping around. They're going to flop. Flopper's going to flop. Flopper's going to flop. Flopper's going to flop. Sounds like a new t-shirt. You know I'm just going to... Susan says she loves gnomes. Oh, good. These are cute little set. Spring gnomes. They did not show up on the low quantity list, but that could change at any time. Okay, there. Now you can't see all those little thingies. Okay. So... I hope you like it. Again, type uh, gnomes in the comments if you're interested in the cart link. If you want to just look at my shop, type shop or catalog, either one of those. And if you are if you want to join my VIP group, type in VIP and I'll get you the link and you can join that. Again, that's free. And you have gnome. Oh, yes, you do. You have gnomes and you have gnome houses and you have gnome villages. <laughs> Yes, I bet your granddaughters would love it. So, and if they did, you say if they type gnomes, it'll come up it because it looks like it's been typed a couple times and hasn't come up. Oh uh, so. well, it should unless it's not the first time. 
I don't think Susan has typed anything before, and Joanne just typed no. Okay, well, come up. I will. I will check it after this, and if it looks like you were interested in gnomes, I will send you the the thing directly. You know, what, let's do that. If you want, if you want her to send you information, uh, type in just the word gnome, and that way we'll make sure it goes through. Yeah. If you just made a comment about gnomes, I'm not going to send it to you. But okay, Linda, you're going to get okay. Good. And do you want me to do a cart link for you, and then I'll send you that link, and then it'll pop up on your site, and then you just order from there. Oh, you've got a front yard full of gnomes too. Well, then you need to get a little gnome banner. You must be the if only want, one that doesn't. Profit. If you wanted to do a banner with gnomes outside you'd use ink because that that would make it permanent i wouldn't put this outside because it's just paste and if it got wet it's gonna it's gonna kind of run and not be great but if you wanted it outside you could use the canvas banner and just use ink and then heat set it so there we go so we will be back on again tomorrow night no what is, is today well, tuesday today is tuesday i'll be on tomorrow morning Tomorrow morning, I believe it's at. Do you have any idea what you're doing tomorrow morning? Apparently not. <laughs> okay, let me find out. What time you're on? Let me find out what time find I'm on time tomorrow on. morning. I am on at 9:30 Pacific time tomorrow morning with a fun new craft that will be to be determined. <laughs> it's early. I've got time to. Got time well, that's because you're going to be on uh, craft around the clock, right? Yes. Okay, so let me pose, and I'll let you guys go making a bride's move and putting a gnome in it. Thank you. Okay. Who, is, who is that for, Joanne? Is it somebody I know? Yeah. I dropped him off early for his chemo. I'll give you some time. If you wait for him, or do you just leave him and then come back? I hope everything goes okay with that tomorrow. She wanted a wood, that would be a woodsy bouquet. Okay, thanks for hanging out with us. I hope if you are, if you haven't already, you will follow our page. Um, click, on, if you're watching from your phone, click on the screen up by my face and it will say Raincross Farms Makery. Click those three dots and a drop down menu will come out and it'll give you the option to follow our page. If you're already following, it will say following. But follow our page. Um, if you want to, you can sign up for notifications with Facebook when we go live. And if you want to make us one of your favorite, uh, one of your favorite pages that you follow, you can. There's an option for that too. So, anyway, we will see you tomorrow morning, hopefully, if you're available. And if not, we'll see you when we see you. Catch the replay and do something creative every day. It's still early. So get to getting. Good night, everybody. <laughs>